Oh yeah, I got DMD because I, I get I've been getting a lot of notifications recently. So I got turn on DMD. And we should be good to go, I think. Alright, welcome back to Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Um, this is gonna be the finale. Uh, we're, we li All we can do right now is literally fight the sorceress, so let's just go ahead and do that. So yeah. And uh, Scrappy's dogs are here as well. <laughs> Always and forever. Indeed. Yeah, so right off the bat, this is a downgrade from Repto's uh, boss, purely for the fact that there's no actual like intro cutscene, because uh, like, it's bad enough that there's like n already no chemistry between these two characters, um, and then it just yeah, does it doesn't. Not helping that is just not having an actual um, cutscene before the boss, and the boss itself is just. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of this boss, to be honest. You kind of just have to wait for Agent 9 to drop uh, cannons and stuff so you can shoot the sorceress. And... It's... I, I don't know, it's just it's just way too gimmicky for its own good. It's not very fun to fight, and uh, besides maybe Buzz, the first boss, this would probably be my least favourite boss in the game. Because the second and the third bosses were really fast-paced and challenging. Um, and there was, uh, and they didn't drag on, drag on for too long. Whereas this is just, I don't know. There's just nothing remarkable about this. What do you think? <coughs> I definitely thought it was a downgrade from Rip though. Yeah. There's really only one final boss fight in the trilogy that I like. <laughs> yeah. So Ripto was actually a really good boss. So it's kind of a shame it sunk this far. Like it, it like it's, it's kind of funny how like, um, so Ripto has like, like, um, like his problems. But when he has like his redeeming qualities are like, um, like, like really um. Well, I, maybe not make- they don't necessarily make up for, like, his problems with the story itself, but, um... That was one strong spire. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was a- I got a life. Uh, because I think if you get- if you kill enough for the- you eventually get a one-up, I think. But... Yeah, as, as much as like Ripto failed as like a villain and all that, like he, he had like a really good boss fight. Whereas like the sorceress is the complete opposite. Uh, he, uh, she's a a frightening villain, but like the boss itself just super unremarkable. I mean, at least she actually fights, unlike Knasky Nox. So I'll give her that much. Oops. Not saying much, Harry. No. <laughs> Besides that, this is basically just... I don't know, man. Like, this is this is just a... This is just kind of... Eh. It's definitely not the worst final boss I've played, but... Still. Like, when you have, like, Ripto in the second game, like... It, it's, it's such a disappointment. So, you know. If this game hadn't been so rushed, we would have probably gotten at least a proper pre-fight cutscene between the two of them. Yeah. Instead of Agent 9 just being like, Oh yeah, let's just kick our butt. <laughs> Agent 9 knows what he wants in life. Yeah. I can't fault him for that. Yeah. For all of its faults, this is actually not my least favorite boss fight in Year of the Dragon. Uh, what is your least favorite? Hello, family unfriendly death. Yep. 
Also, uh, I, I like that uh, that little uh, attention to detail. Um, in the cutscenes, her staff was uh, had an egg inside of it, and we literally just got that egg just now, which I think is just nice little detail. Oh wow! <laughs> Finally got abducted. Psych. Well, uh, what were you going to say? the Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to say is your f uh, least favorite boss? The second one. Oh, okay. I would say I would probably say um, the first boss is my least favorite just because it's very just by the numbers, really. It's a nice callback to the first game. Yeah. This game has quite a lot of Spiral 1 callbacks, actually, I think about it. Mainly in regards to this and the Thieves. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, you know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Oh, yeah, he just goes on a wild goose chase. Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. I wonder who who was interviewing them in the first game though, because it never like zooms out. It's a funny thing. Maybe one of the balloonists. I had just Maybe. Had Avalar's portals to take me yeah, because you never hear them. But somehow I ended up here. Uh, in the game anyway. The tables are out of date by a thousand years. <laughs> that would explain. Oh, by the way, Alora. And recast. <laughs> oh, it's a different Are voice. Yes. Oh. Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc. You want a piece of me, Rhinox boy? Eat laser punk! Come on now, no fair hiding! <laughs> if I'm sure Hunter is in good hands, oh, but no, I mean, I'm stuff. sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? He never does it again. <laughs> we never see Alora again. Yep. Put, I I wouldn't be surprised if she was supposed to be an Enter the Dragonfly. Same with like Lost in Orc. It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that true, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Hey. <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I like how this is like five separate cutscenes. Nice little epilogue. Yeah. And we're back to the fun stage. Yay. <laughs> Gotta end on the uh, title screen it's level. Sight sparks. Another noble warrior the falls victim moon. to the plague of love. Mm. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Huzzah. My brothers are lost, Elora. <laughs> Baby. The end. This high yeah. voice. Yeah, and uh, like the first two games, uh, same cr uh, kind of credits and music, which is nice for the sake of consistency, I guess. Uh, and I'm gonna, I think we should save fin Final Thoughts for uh, later though, because we still got some stuff to do. Yeah, how can you have Final Thoughts about your favorite mission? Silence tells me everything. I assume you're talking about the snowboard. Yeah. Yeah, well... No, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that very, very soon, so don't worry.
I mean, that it's really no spoiler that this that, uh, about uh, saying this, uh, since we saw the sorceress uh, was still alive and like es like was escaping. Um, but um, even though it, the second phase, uh, the second time you fight her is basically just a slight, uh, just a watered down version of Ripto's final phase. Um, it's still a lot, a lot more enjoyable than her normal fight, so... You know. And that amazing mission with she uh, Sheila. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we discussed Smash Bros. briefly in our last session and had virtually nothing good to talk about, and then we went on like a long hour tangent when we finished the session. I don't even remember what we talked about last time. Like... Okay, we got the voice cast credited. Yeah, Greg Berger. Yeah, um, Ross. Oh, if, um... If anyone's curious about when this is being recorded, um, a couple days ago, um, the direct got delayed due to, um, an earthquake that happened in Japan. So... Because, uh, you know, pe pe uh, uh, people's lives uh, matter, m matter more than announcing, like, video games. So. But, yeah. Oh, man. If, uh, Talking about like Smash, uh, one of my um, Love Live uh, friends is actually going to. Um, to well, I, I don't know exactly where where he's going. It's probably like a Best Buy or something because I've 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 heard they have Ultimate demos now. But um, he's apparently going to he's apparently going to play um, the Ultimate demo uh, tomorrow. So that's gonna be. I'm interested to see like how he finds the game, like how it feels and stuff. Cause that's like at the moment, I'm 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 just kind of interested in seeing how the game feels to play. What about you? I'm not sure. I'll have to. Have to see. I'll basically. I'll, I guess I'm in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> Will be interesting return to melee style speed for the first time in 11 years. Yeah, I mean Smash 4 was kind of like leaning, uh, kind of leaned more more towards it than Brawl did. Like it, it's kind of like kind of gradually work back towards a faster pace uh, with the last couple games. As for Ryan Andrew House, two people who don't work at Sony anymore, if you want to know how old this game is. Yeah. <laughs> and what? Jack Trenton also doesn't work at Sony anymore. What does it, is, is he, like, what does he do now? Is he retired or is he doing something else? Who? Uh, Jack Trenton. Uh, uh probably working at, as an executive somewhere else. Ah, I like this uh, message coming up. Uh, I think it's in both of the credits. It might be in the. It might only be in the. Oh yeah, there we go. We hope you've enjoyed the Spyro trilogy. And we have had four fun, great sleepless years creating it. <laughs> Find us in Somniac Games. I kind of think they should have uh, kept had that for the. Uh, the, the secondary credits like exclusively but the same say at the same time uh, not everyone's a completionist so if that was the case I guess not everyone would see it but still I think it why would why would you want to make everyone go through belly boxing Harry that is a good point well made <laughs> I I'm, I'm gonna say this like I'm not I'm not even being like um 
um, like, silly or making a joke with this, but Bentley boxing alone uh, puts this game, like, down one point for me. Like, that's how bad it is. <laughs> So what you're saying is Fire Two did something better. <laughs> well, no, because uh, while there aren't any, I well, I don't. You, you can argue about the Alchemist and all that, but uh, I would argue that um, with Spyro Two, there are a good chunk of uh, uh, missions or challenges, whatever you call them, in, in the game that um, either are pointless or have annoying design issues. But none of them reached the level of Bentley boxing. I like how the spider with the key has the same color scheme as the thieves. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. I didn't even think about that. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, uh, final sparks level. What do you think? The sparks level. I should probably turn down the uh, sound. I don't know, it's always... okay. It's uh, stayed that way from last time. Sound effect was just that loud. Yeah. But yeah, this is actually very uh, hard, especially like the boss at the end. Um, so, yeah, don't don't be surprised if you end up like dying a few times here. And you, uh, you cannot access this until you fight the sorcerer, so... Um, it might actually be better to just fight the sorceress right away, so you can play this level and get the uh, last sparks ability. But uh, I decided to just do this after, just to uh, um, I don't know it just feels right for an LP. Just getting all the main levels done, then going back for sparks uh, after. Because after this, we literally just have like the bonus level and I think that's it. Oh no, I could be wrong. Alright, I can just run into them. Yeah, you have to run into those guys, showing them just kind of messes them up a little bit. He locked himself or rather the bug locked themselves in the room so they, like, get shot at. Yeah. Uh. Are there any other games you could play as Sparks? Hero's Tale. Yeah, I've never seen- I haven't seen Sparks gameplay, like, um, is it the same as this, or is it, like, something else? Not top-down, it's, it's actually 3D. Oh. How does that work? I actually don't know. I'd have to, I haven't seen footage of that a Hero's Tale in years. Yeah. Because I've only really seen, like, cut the cutscenes. So... And, like, a... There, oh, gosh. A very little bit of gameplay. And I know, like, they changed how the jumps work, work quite a bit. But besides that, uh... Um... What was it? Uh... Doesn't... Hasn't... Uh... Doesn't Sergeant Bird, like, replay... It's the um, speedways, or like uh, he he uh, goes through them instead of Spyro. I wouldn't know. Mm. I'd argue that makes infinitely more sense <laughs> for him. Yeah, because like, in these games, it's just like Spyro random can just randomly uh, fly infinitely for some reason, like without the use of a super power up. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just missing like one of those sound effects. It's just going all the way down here. Alright. Okay, I wanna see what's over here. Oh, I think that's the boss, okay. So we had to come back up. And then there's this, which is... This, is, this area is just evil, because like, it's just these two guys 
here that I already know to deal with on their own. We have the um, just the bugs on top of that. And it's just a mess. Look at this madness. Ah. <laughs> it's really these last few rooms that are like really just evil. I completely forgot those guys were there. Just kill me. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay, that guy survived. Do you think they need to change sparks in any way? Uh, I think maybe like make it make um, control a bit there, but I don't. I, th I don't think it needs too many changes. Cut down on some of the enemy spawn rates. Yeah, yeah. I think the enemies spawn a bit too fast. Some of the en just some of the enemies, just the regular enemies that don't even spawn in from anywhere. Um, in this level particularly, there's just too many sometimes. Taking points. Yeah. There's just like, especially when you don't have a lot of room to maneuver here. But control wise, uh, I don't know. I mean, after Insane Trilogy, it, it could go. Who knows what, uh, how the other characters will play? Because uh, I would, I would like it to be better, but I mean, if and if uh, the jet ski and the motorcycle is anything to go by, I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping. Yeah. I know different developers, but I do hope that um, Toy for Bob takes some lessons learned from in Insane Trilogy. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, know, I know they helped to end Saint Trilogy with the uh, with porting it to the other consoles and uh, getting Coco in there, I believe. So, um, but, I mean, they, they can probably get some feedback from the from the crash and implement it into Spyro. But, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, my best advice I can give for this boss is just. Don't uh, just don't go near uh, too close to them because uh, if they just cut, if they catch you, basically your your just your health is just gonna get slaughtered, and uh, you kind of just wanna. Oh man, you kind of just wanna slowly pick them off. So don't try and get too fancy. Because uh, hey, there's a big bug arena. Yeah, you can see the bugs on the on up there, the upper levels. Yeah, it's mainly annoying when they um uh, they get form two uh cal caterpillar things um or whatever these things are. Centipedes. Centipedes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it just kind of get it can just get pretty messy and. Uh, you don't have any fodder in here, so... Uh. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh, jeez. I forgot there was a second one for a while. Yeah, he just kind of popped up, the. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, besides, like, keeping your distance, there's really not... I don't really have any good advice for this, besides that, because... They kind of just go all over the place, and with two of them, it's just hard to keep track. Especially with all the... the, the shooting projectiles I have, aren't you? So... Yeah, you're gonna... Especially on the first uh, attempt, just... You're gonna... You're kind of just going to have to accept some deaths here. Oh, come on. 
Yeah, I got nothing. So, uh, do you have anything to say? Uh, just want to go on some kind of tangent or something? I would, but I have to do Sparks' voice first. Oh. And I can't do it, so the joke is dead. Do you want to do it? I can't. I can't. I just can't. I mean, I'm saying, like, it's physically impossible for me to do Sparkle voice. <laughs> How did that not damage me? What the heck? Magic. Okay. I'm just trying to focus on this guy. Quick, aim for his ball, Sparks! <sighs> ah! Right, it shouldn't be... Okay, I... I'm not gonna jinx it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought it was gonna move somewhere else. I didn't think you would just go around and circle. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, um... That... creature isn't really attacking you directly. <sighs> not initially, anyways. Kind of dancing. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you want to talk about though? Because uh, I got. Uh, I would, but the sound effects are too loud. I can uh, turn them down more. <laughs> Oops. Uh, is it still? I mean, it's always gonna be loud, but it's fine. Yeah. <sighs> so we're... Why do their heads remind me of some Mario enemy? I don't know why. <laughs> That's interesting. What? Uh... The color scheme reminds me of what the bullies from Mario 64. Um, I can see that with the head. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can definitely see like the leaf on that. Are those things supposed to be the bombs in them in those levels? Um, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were recolored. Like demonic bombs. Yeah. Yeah, you got um. Bowser like splices his own DNA with the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, there we go. Annabelle. Annabelle creation. Bizarre. Come to DVD. Alright, that should be it's it. It's I can't do it. <laughs> okay, we got all the gems. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, Sparks is done forever. And I think that's the last of the side characters, because the... There's actually no sequences of, like, uh, being able to play as the side characters in the final like, bonus magic, stage because it gave sparks two new abilities now he can break open what, treasure chests and using the atlas he can warp you to any level just select the level you want and All press right. the square button okay so i i i've never i've never seen sparks uh, break open a treasure chest but yeah the atlas thing it, it, it's basically a con convenience thing Alright, so let's just go to the the last level then. Which I think oh, is... actually, you need to go pay a visit to our good old friend again. Oh right, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's over here. And this is the most like satisfying thing in the trilogy. <laughs> don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I, uh, uh, I, I've got to be going now. Uh, toodles. Okay. Probably should have been a cutscene first. Yeah. Okay. I, I, before we like actually chase him, I'm gonna put the sound back up a little bit. Uh. You you want to relish his pain, don't you? Yes. But like, I love the like. Yeah, 
He's like, throughout, throughout uh, 2 and 3, he's like, become more and more of a jerk uh, as the game g games go on. And then Sparrow just crosses the line when... Uh, um, Money back crosses the line? Uh, yeah, like, he, um... Sp um, what was what I was trying to what I was trying to say uh, was um, Sparrow draws draws a line when money bags is just like I'm 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 gonna sell like um, one uh, one of the dragon eggs uh, somewhere I forgot Spyro's little brother has been kidnapped new head cannon yeah he's out for blood now okay, I'm gonna make money bags go the other way because that was weird <laughs> that felt wrong uh, but yeah it's like. So when, when it when it when uh, money bags is just trying to sell his race, it's just like, yeah, no, you crossed the line there. Oh gosh, a uh, countdown creator, countdown hours, <laughs> like put some audio over the scene. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible, but I found it hilarious six years ago. <laughs> oh, I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it, I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. Apple. Huzzah. I would love if they made uh, Sparrow have like an uh, angry expression when the uh, money bags uh, says that. Wait, he actually went to a portal? <laughs> yeah, he went in there. <laughs> Okay, now I want an achievement where you just chase him down to that level and hit him again. That would be hilarious if that was like a side quest or something. You just keep following him and he just runs away. Secret hidden, extra hidden dragon egg. Yeah. It'd be like, um... I don't know, the best uh, comparison I can give it is finding big randomly in the uh, secret rings. Oh, gosh. Which is really, like... Um... Like, I don't- I have no idea how you're supposed to know about that, because you have to- It's only in specific missions, and you have to just stop in very, like, specific places for, like, a brief minute or so, and then the camera shifts to look at Big. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to know that without a guide. 